Okay. Time for another league with Jund Pummeler. We've made some small changes from last time. I cut the fourth Thoughtseize for a 20th land. I cut the third Stomping Grounds for the third Haship Oasis, and we got a second Basic Forest. And, um, kind of wanted the fourth Basic Land. There was a few times that three Basics felt a little sketchy. Field of Ruin is in the format. And I think I like having the four since we searched them out with a tune anyway. Plus, like, lands were being pretty painful. So, I think I want to try this out. Um, may relook it. I think I have enough red sources, thanks to the Attune. I believe it's 14 or 15 for untapped Harness Lightning on turn 2, which is quite a bit. We've got enough for Thoughtseize, and, you know, Thoughtseize it's a little better for turn 2. Fatal Push would be nice to make sure we can do it on turn 1, but we can get it there. It's just not quite perfect, but I think the mana is fine, so... We're going to try it like this with the 20 lands, and I might go back down to 19. I'm wanting to try a Grull Spellbreaker in the sideboard. So I think there was a th Thought Seize, or there was something else in here, but I cut it for Grull Spellbreaker. Um, nice to have something to counter these Settle the Wreckages that are going around. I may get this in the main board at some point, but this is what we're going to rock for this league. And let's just let's just get right into it. Three thought seasons is also something I'm not sure about. Like I might want the fourth one in the sideboard, but <clears throat> I don't know. We'll find out. Let's jump in a league. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can get the five zero. This hand seems good enough on the play. <laughs> We'll see what we're against. Hollowed Fountain. Untapped. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's a human's deck. Um, we're going to get down the Glint Sleeve and cast this a tune. Get our mountain. Oh, I. Whoops, that was a misstep there. I meant to tap the Llanor Elf for the Attune, but just kind of zoned out for a sec. My bad. <clears throat> if we lose by one energy, we deserve it. Let's see what our opponent's doing. Another Thraben. And a Hope of Gerper. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on. Hope, that's interesting. Hmm. Alright. Yes like to draw a card please um, all right go ahead and draw let's get one of our forests out play the forest get that down get to draw two cards next turn Still don't know what on earth our opponent's doing. <clears throat> hmm. That so far. What would play Hope of Gerper though? Bantoko. Okay. Make this a 3-3. Three, three. make that a 3-3. Three, three. Interesting. So we're going to get to draw some cards. Yes. And yes. Just while we can. Is this the turn I want to Thoughtseize? 
Not going to be able to get enough energy anyways. Yeah, I think we just play Mountain and try to get down Samut. <clears throat> if I drew something that could make us energy, then I'd play it plus Thoughtseize, but kind of drawing a whole lot of nothing. Teferi here. That's fucking annoying. Can't really afford Samut to be made into... Can we? Samut would become a 3-3. Three, three. Then we could swing everything at Oko. Oh, they could also just minus 5. Damn, that is super annoying. Alright, I guess we're waiting. Why couldn't it just be each opponent can cast instant and sorceries only any time they can cast a sorcery? Why are you so busted, Teferi? Okay, they bounce the other glint. Well, honestly, that helps us because we needed the energy. Ooh. <clears throat> Pummely boy. We can do everything here, so we're going to. Let's Thought Season. Another Teferi, another Oko. Hmm. Maybe we just take Gideon. They don't have the mana for it currently, though. What's the most annoying? I guess it's Oko, because we can deal with Gideon if they draw. Oh, they need an untapped white source as well. Alright, I'll take... I'll take Oko. And let's go ahead and attack their Oko. They do trade. Okay. Wish we found a Gork Land. Well, we'll just play our spells. See what they want to take Oko up on. I think it's correct for them to tick up onto Glint, but I could see them doing it on Pummeler. I mean, we do have four cards in hand. Oh, okay, so they get to play their Teferi. They got there. Not the end of the world. What do you use Oko on? Do you have the fear opponent? Come on, use it on Pummeler. Yeah, okay. So we get to draw an extra card. Thank fuck. Once upon a time. Yeah, we're just going to deploy that. There's the Gore Clan. Samu is at four, then that's seven. What do we kill here? It's Oko or Teferi. Let's see an argument for Gideon as well. Hmm. Shit, man. Got another Teferi in hand, too, so... Killing Teferi doesn't really get us anywhere. Next turn, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. So we can Samut plus Gore Clan, but their life total is super high. And they're going to have these clue tokens. And a bunch of blockers. Sorry, they can make it food, I guess. Although they probably won't... They probably won't go for food. Do I try to kill Oko? That is the question. Do I want to attack with Glint Sleeve? 
Yeah, I don't think I want to just let them easily replay their Teferi and bounce. So I'm just going to play a tap Stomping Grounds, Llanowar Elf. That will leave us with next turn having, we'll play Haship. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Actually, okay, did I miscount that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have nine mana. So if we draw into Gorkland, we can just double Gorkland Samut. I also don't hate attacking here with the Pummeler. Mm, nah, we'll, we'll wait on that. Okay, so we're just going to play Llanowar Elf, Stomping Grounds, Tapped, and Pass. And if they don't tick up this Oko on Glint, then we'll be able to draw another card, which would be nice. This game is very close. <clears throat> See if their plan is to just crack a clue here. I feel like their best bet is to just make a clue with 3-3, three, three, tick up the fairy, tick up Oko on a clue. Uh, that's what I meant, make a clue with 3-3. Three, three. Maybe crack a clue, but... We'll see. That's going to leave him with quite a few creatures. Yeah, we're definitely hoping to draw the second Gore Clan. Okay. Teferi ability is chill. Ugh, Teferi is such an annoying card. Samut's still a powerhouse, but Teferi makes her a little worse than she used to be. Back in standard. Yep. And for Oko. Okay. Sure. Are they going to tick up on the Glint? I, Given what they've done now, I think ticking up on Glint is best for sure. Okay. So. <clears throat> Do we get there? We don't, but that is a good draw. Am I meant to just attack with Samut here? We play Samut, one, two, three, four, five. Attack with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Well we're playing Haship no matter what. If we, th if we swing with Samut and all of these at their face, they block Samut, that's two goes through. Block, block, block. <clears throat> They're looking at taking 13. Fuck. So close. If we give them another turn, though, they're just getting more and more ahead. <clears throat> they know about this Gorkland Rampager as well. So they're just going to block accordingly. Shit. Five. I mean, I could also play Samut and Bristling Hydra, but then they get to take Samut with Oko. Maybe that's not the end of the world. No, it kinda is. <laughs> attack with Samut, attack with Bristling Hydra. They double block Bristling Hydra. Well, it's close. <clears throat> Maybe I just go for lethal here. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, next turn we could also Haship Oasis. So that would then be six, ten trample. That's twenty trample damage. But they'll have a lot more to block. Alright, I think I'm just going to go for it. Could be incorrect. We'll find out. One, two, three, four, 
five. One. Uh, yeah, I think we're just... Well, I could also kill Oko. They've got Teferi in hand. God, this is, this is tough. We attack them. We can attack... Oko, 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 Oko. Hmm. <clears throat> is that smarter? Sorry, this decision is just actually pretty, pretty big. Eating into my clock though. If I swing at them with everything, they chump two. That's four, seven, twelve. Then they get to block three of these probably block 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 um, they can block with the smuggler's copter on the line we're off and that's 13 that gets through if I swing at Oko then that is we're threatening to kill the Oko which we will just snap off kill the Oko maybe I swing with one okay Okay. A pommeler at Oko. Sorry. A 3 3 at Oko. A 7. A 1 1 at Oko. And 3 3 at our opponent. Another 1-1 one, one at Oko, and a 3-3 three, three at our opponent. Sure, let's just try that, see how they block. Ugh. That, that took me too long, sorry. <laughs> I've had a long day, okay. Wow, they just snap up blocked like this. I snap went to blocks. No interest in using Smuggler's Copter. Double block the one going after them. It's going after Oko. It's going after Oko. If they didn't know about the Gork land, I'd probably play this differently. Oko, Oko. So I guess if they block like this, I just pump this pummeler. That's seven. They block four. That's th three, five. Damn. Damn, dude. We're so close. Five, six, seven, four, three. Or five. Oh wait, this is blocking there. Seven, they block two, five, six, seven, they, damn. All right, maybe I was meant to just go all after them. I don't know. That's tough. Well, we're just gonna do that then. Still got a lot going on, but they get to take our Samut for a clue. Uh, yeah, this is sketchy. Yep. Oh, we're just dead. Right. 6, 11, 14. Alright. I punted. Yep. Damn. I should have gone after them with everything because maybe they didn't know how Gorklan worked or something like that. Yeah. Just gave them the chance to punt. Or I could have sent Samu at Oko, which may have been better. Oh well. Very close game. I could have maybe... No, I, I definitely could have played that a little better. Don't know if we want the Veils. 
against Bent. Might want Spellbreaker. Do I want Samut? Uh, I'm not sure I want Samut yet. Well, sure. She makes Elks actually win the game. Okay, so we're on the play. Against a Bent Oko deck. We will cut the Servants. We will cut the Long Test Cubs. What creatures did we actually see from them? Just Planeswalkers? I guess I'll cut the Harnesses for while we're on the play. But I could see siding those back in. And we need one more cut. I like all these cards. Hmm. Maybe it's a pummeler. All right, we'll we'll trim a pummeler. See how this goes. Ah, I definitely think I could have won that game if I just played it a little bit differently. Damn, damn. Um, this hand is just all Gorklan rampagers. We're gonna mull. <clears throat> Fuck me. <laughs> Um, can I really keep this? It has Once Upon a Time. We have a bunch of hits in the deck. I'm gonna... I, I'm just gonna try it, but I could see this being a mall. This is probably a mall. But we're trying it. Okay, see? It was, it was a keep. I knew it. <laughs> thank God. Oh, thank God. Alright, we'll play the Aether Hub. clan okay well luckily this gets us our energy again Let's see what two drop they have glass casket okay hmm yeah I guess I'm just playing Glint. I could also just end of turn Abrupt Decay Glass Casket. Gets me another energy so I can Gore Clan kill an Oko. Yeah, that might be better. Okay. See what they got? Just a copter. An emery. Ooh. Well. Sadly, I've kind of forced myself into that, I think. Thank God we drew a land. Okay. We get to attack them. Gets us back up to our two energy. And play Elvish Mystic. <clears throat> Alright, now they have two Glints to deal with. And we have a Gorkland. Oh, they get to replay Glass Casket. Ooh, right. That was... That was another punt. Jeez, I'm not playing great. <laughs> Glass Casket is pretty damn sweet with Emery. Damn. Ooh, that was, that was a really bad play. Jeez. I could have just killed the Emery. Like, what was I thinking? Ugh. Of course, it enters tapped. Oh, this feels so bad. All 
All right. Well, at least it was a genuine punt. Way she goes. Could have just played out my glint that other turn and probably been fine. See if they have a three mana planeswalker to follow this up. If they do, it would be disastrous, but if not, there's a chance. They, they might need to take Pummeler here as well. They're thinking about it. They're spooked. If we draw land, could we kill them? Yes. Right? Yeah, they do take Pummeler. Okay. G3. No, we wouldn't have been able to kill them if we drew a land unless that land was like stomping grounds. Alright, well we get to draw another card. That's nice. Never mind. It was mediocre. Alright, let's just once upon a time then. Gets us a Gork land. We will get in. I'm just casting it. Fuck it. Let's, let's smack him. See what they got. Bone it down to nine. Okay. Do they have an answer to our glint? Ugh. I don't want to lose this game after my punt. See him, they bounce glint sleeve. Yep. Untapped. Oh, and they have spell quellers as well. Yikes. Oh. Five, nine trample. Okay, well, we're just going to go for killing them then. I could also play Glint Sleeve Siphoner, 5-9, but then if they block, they're not dead. So I guess I'll attack. Attack your face. Oh, Gorkland, did you bail us out? Yeah. Okay, get their smuggly ability out of the way. I guess we're just going to Gorklan and smack him for two. Fuck it, I'll walk the Glint Sleeve into the Into the spell queller. Yep. Alright. Makes the top of our deck more live. We're very close to killing them, though. Yep. Four, eight, eight. They'd have to double block, which they can't do. So what they have. Yep. No attacks. I don't think I even cast a tune. Pump it. One, two, three. Alright, well, we just have to go for it. This is the hand we are dealt. Okay. Hopefully they're just dead.
Green, red. Okay, good luck, opponent. <clears throat> Take five trample. Hopefully. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> that was fucking close. God, Emery is so good. Does Emery change how I have to play this? I have glass caskets. They've got... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I can really afford the harness lightnings and shit. They do also have spell quellers, though. Alright, maybe that's enough reason to play harness. Let's say two harness. And what else can I cut, then? Blossoming Defense does seem medium, but they do have glass caskets. Let's go with like two Blossoming. Let's. Maybe I cut a Gorkland. Like it. It is pretty damn good, but I'm on the draw. Hoping to maybe be a little bit more permission based. Veil is also interesting, but I don't think good enough. Alright, we're going to try it like this. I could also cut a land since we're on the draw, but whatever. Okay, this hand seems pretty solid. We're going to keep. Untapped. Ooh, they finally have an elf. Oh, just a Thraben. That's fine. We will once upon a time. Grabbing a... Huh. Grabbing a what? I think we might need Gorklan just to be able to push through. So we'll get down the Elvish Mystic. It's tempting to take the land there, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, Jesus. Opponent going wide. Stopping grounds tapped. Get down the glinty. And let's see if they got a Teferi or something to start tempoing us. We'll need to, once upon a time, hit a land if so. Uh, yeah, no blocks. What you got? Okay. Just another goose. Do they got the glass casket? Yep. Alright. Hopefully we draw land here. We don't. So, I think we need to... Once upon a time. We will take a third hub. Aether Hub or Haship Oasis. Hmm. Alright, Haship Oasis, fine. Land. And. Alright, let's see what they got. Whole lot of nothing. So, they probably play four Okos, so I think that's just what I need to name. But, Gideon also scary, and Teferi's annoying. But, yeah, we'll name Oko Thief of Crowns. Okay. Sack and a clue, yep. Please draw land. Fuck. Ugh, did they top deck Spell Queller? Let's just go for Bristling Hydra here, because if we draw land next turn, we can 
Gorkland plus spell... Gorkland plus um, removal. Oh, okay. They didn't have it. This is a good sign. Stop that fucking beat down. Got a fresh grip of cards now, though. <clears throat> Night of Autumn. All right, fair enough. Didn't really expect them to play that. Maybe they sided in for because it kills Pummeler. Oh, they don't kill the Sorcerer's Spyglass. Wow. That's pretty weird. They must have a strange hand. We really want to land. Do we want it bad enough to just blow this one spot of time, though? Not, not especially. So they drew. Is this spell queller time? Nope. All right. Well, we're gonna go for lethal next turn if they don't draw into removal or something. Just making a food. Okay. Do we go for it? What could they even have? I guess I could wait one turn. Alright, let's just cast once upon a time. Grab a stomping ground. Play it. Untapped. Get down Spellbreaker. And go for a counter. Okay, next turn we'll go for it. Spellbreaker turns off, settle the wreckage and shit. Okay, they're just they're just done. Phew. Yeah, it seemed like they flooded out. Ouch. Rip Dasra. Okay, so I played slow and poorly there. Sorry, not an amazing start to the league, but we got the W. And I'll try to pick it up here. Had a, I've had a long day. I'm not too sure this hand is good enough on the draw. I mean, I guess I'll try it, but it's probably meant to be a mall. If our opponent's a removal deck, this could be pretty damn good, though. Okay. Opponent attunes for a mountain. Is our opponent pummeling? That would be exciting. Uh, so we're just going to blooming. Go ahead and cast a tune. Also get a mountain. See if our opponent curves out. Us drawing the land there was kind of a disaster. Eh? Alright, well. At least it's a fucking play. I'll take it. Is this a Marvel deck, though? Okay. <laughs> yes! Yas! I'm so proud of our opponent. Oh, this is amazing. We're also super dead. 
Guess we gotta take servant here. Um, all right, we don't want to lose any more life. Interested in what our opponent's list is, I may slide into their DMs. Oh, am I alive? Oh, no, I'm either alive or super dead. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Ah, I'm so I'm so stoked. Our opponent seems to like mostly be playing the list that I top forward Portland with. That's hype. We're going to add them as a buddy. Okay, so against Red Green Pummeler. We want the Samut. We want I guess Spyglass. Well, on the play, I could also just try to race. Maybe I just go with no removal. Or thought seizes. Not super sold on blossoming defense. Okay, am I just going to try to race them while I'm on the play? Keep the thought seizes. Like, Spyglass really doesn't help with racing. Maybe I want Blossoms, too. Hmm. Alright, so if we're just trying to race them, we can cut a couple Hydras, I guess. And uh, what do we throw in in its place? Okay, on the play, maybe just abrupt decay. And then on the draw, I'm going to change that up. Go a little more permission-based. This looks like a keep. This hand is not shaping up super great. We will take the Haship Oasis. have an elf. It'll be bad news because we have nothing else.
goose. Ooh. Um, I do think getting down Long Tusk Cub is going to be more valuable than a Thought Seize here. So we're just going to do that. Alternatively, I could get down Servant and then Thought Seize Cub next turn. And have Blossoming up. Actually, that might be better. Okay. They have to sack their food. They get a servant's food. Drawing removal here would be very nice. But we don't. So we are going to snap thought sees them. Oh, fuck me, dude. Rampage, harness, pummel, pummel. Okay, so they're going to get to play... Pummeler no matter what. I think I just have to take Invigorated Rampage. And we'll get down the Long Tusk Cub. Let's see what they draw. Their mana is super awkward. Do they even hit the land? Or are they just going to go for the harness? Ooh. Yeah, they're going for the harness lightning. That makes sense. We've got the blossom though. And yikes. Alright, I, I guess we have our plan. Get a swamp, I guess. Uh, swamp was bad there, but whatever. Alright. Go to attacks. Pump. Pump. Take a million. Hopefully they don't draw land because we're still still pretty sketchy for us. We've got fucking nothing going on. Okay, they just concede. Phew. Alright, so on the draw, we're going to try out the permission-based plan. <clears throat> Which might even mean trimming a pummeler. Yep. We will cut down on blossoming as well, because I want to be removing their creatures if they're removing mine. Not as unhappy. Alright. So I want all these cards in. Now, do I change anything else? I think this looks pretty clean. Alright, yeah, let's try it like this. Wait, did I forget to bring in the Fatal Pushes? Oh my god, I did. <laughs> Shit. I was wondering, it seemed like we weren't siding in very many cards. <laughs> Alright, well, if, you were, if during that process you were wondering, why on earth isn't he bringing in Fatal Push? Uh, the reason is, is I just forgot to, but I definitely meant to. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay, well, luckily we're drawing pretty well. We find our red mana, or we could take Glint. But I think making sure we have our red mana is going to be a little more important. At least for now. Get down Lanawar. Alright.
Aether Hub. Aether Hub pass. Interesting. All right. Well, let's thought suits. Oof, woof. I do think this Sorcerer's Spyglass could just name Pummeler and we'll be fine, though. So, what else would we want to name? Just, like, Blossoming Defense? I mean, I guess. It's that or Gorkland, but I guess I'll take the Blossoming and then Sorcerer Spyglass them. Electrostatic Pummeler. Go. They play the Pummeler. We are just going to snap Samut that. Red. Uh, I'm pretty sure the spyglass works, but on the off chance it doesn't, I'm just going to deal two to the pummeler. No, no, just have faith. Have faith. Spyglass should be working. Okay. <laughs> just got to have faith. All right, they're going to hard cast a Gore Clown Rampager, which is honestly pretty good here. Tick up. Aether hoop. Let's lead on a thought seeds. Opponent has a braid and teamer battle rage. Do I care about a braid? Kinda. I need to actually Drawn to a threat eventually, right? Teamer Battle Rage could kill me though. Like if they draw into a Hydra, that's pretty fucking scary. Um, don't have Hydra yet. I mean, this Elf could also get there if we draw into Gorkland. All right, I'm gonna take a Braid and snap harness this gore clan red zip deal the four and right, let's get in all right no Hydra. That's really all we're scared about here. Okay. Tick up on the Elf. Smash. <laughs> Guess we're on Elf beatdown. It's a Servant, sure. I'm just going to kill that with Summit. Minus two, deal two. <sighs> God, slow road to hell. Do they find the Hydra? Nope, still no threat. Alright, we're just going to cast this once upon a time. Finding us. Ooh, that is a Gorkland. If they have removal though, I think I'd rather have the Glint Sleeve Siphoner, so I'm just going to take that. Took up on an elf. You know what? I'm going to play around Summit. 
<laughs> I doubt our opponent's playing it, but you never know. Not gonna risk it. Okay, we get to untap, untap with the glint sleeve. That is very good news. Finds us the old Samut. That's six, uh, ten, eleven. All right. Well, I guess we're doing that then. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go with untapped. Tick up on the glint. One, two. And green. And we'll just attack them for the 11. See if they have anything. Alright. I added our opponent as a buddy. gonna wait for them to respond before leaving and I'll double check I added them okay started a private chat the fellow pummeler aficionado all right let's do it It's time for okay. Join match. Let's keep it up. Can we finally get the 5-0? We win the dice roll. And we mop. And we keep pip pip peep. Keep. What do you bottom with a hand like this? Jeez. Maybe I'm just counting on this glint sleeve, so I think I'm gonna bottom. Gorklan Rampager. Yes. Could have done the hash sheep there, but I think if I draw Aether Hub, it's better to have played the Mana Confluence. Just snap fatal push. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wait a turn then. Sure, no reason to take damage. We will go get our swamp and ship it. No thoughtsies, no thoughtsies, no thoughtsies. Okay. Stricter. Still pretty scary, honestly, since if they have Ballista, we are still probably fucked.
Okay. Sorry about that. And do they have Ballista? Depression. That's not chill, opponent. Well, our only chance is they have all lands in hand and... Um... I don't know, I don't think we actually have a chance. Drawing Hydra could help. No, nope. I'm just gonna concede here. <laughs> <clears throat> Scales makes that way too hard to deal with. Okay, so we want our removal, I guess. We want our veils. We want our fatal pushes. We want our sorcerer's spy glasses. Do I want assassin's trophy? I don't know yet. So I'll wait on that one. And do I want Samut the Tested? Also don't know about that. So we're going to cut one Blossom. We're going to cut our Elves. What else can we cut? We can cut one Gorklan. We can cut the Pummelers. Which leaves us with probably just cutting a servant while on play at least. And then on the draw I might take out like glint sleeves. Maybe I just cut both servants and play the blossomings. Alright, sure, fuck it. Let's try it like this. This hand is pretty bad but it has spyglass which is a very key card just doesn't have anything else or our mana can't cast this thoughts easy yeah we're gonna ball felt bad doing it though the sand is a lot better very nice okay we'll keep jesus what do we bottom i want all of this fuck i guess we're bottoming Harness Lightning or Abrupt Decay? Abrupt Decay can hit Planeswalkers, so. Yeah, but so can Spyglass. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Just Harness getting me the energy is pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna bottom Abrupt Decay. Done. And Overgrown too. Thoughts easy. Once upon a time, three mana Nissa hardened scales. Okay, so with a hand like ours, I guess I just have to take the hardened scales. This is pretty annoying. Yeah, it's like a. Thoughtseize is like our one way to actually deal with hardened scales. Alright. Are they not going to once upon a time? Jeez, they're not. Maybe they don't play elves. Um, since Ballista would be a one for one trade, I guess I'm just going to run out the glint sleeve. And ship it. Definitely hoping to get a get to draw a card though. Finds them a lot of more wastes, sure. Do they play the stone coil servant? Yes. So I think that means we just harness lightning it so that I get the energy. And our upkeep will harness. Got to spend to, spend to, draw, draw for turn. Okay. Yeah, I think drawing a card was worth it there.
Now they can just run out their Nyssa, then we can kill it. Rip. Okay. Well, now I guess we just name this Nyssa with the Sorcerer's Spyglass. Alright, we will cast once upon a time first. Boop. Boop. Finding us. Oh. Alright, well, maybe we just take this Glint Sleeve then. Yeah, fuck, I guess so. So I'm attempting, but I think Glint Sleeve is correct because it gets to draw us a card next turn and can just attack in and kill the Nissa. <clears throat> And then the next turn, we can Spyglass on Ballista to stop that trash. Rishkar, sure. Don't care. We will draw. Ooh, that's a good draw. All right, we'll get in. Smash. And let's Sorcerer Spyglass. I wanna know what's going on. Another Rishkar, Stone Coil, which is good, but we can Abrupt Decay the Rishkar. This is good, but we can deal with it. Although they would get to make a token if they plus. That's when we just attack both at Nissa though. Yeah, I think the most threatening card is still just Walking Ballista, so I'm gonna name Walking Ballista. Boop. And get down Glint. Okay. See if they just cast a big stone coil serpent. I think that would be correct. Guess they could also go like Nissa, Stone Coil, minus Nissa. But then they need to tap the Rish car. Yep. They do cast the Nissa. And they just go for the plant. Sure. Yeah, I feel like they could have gone on a beatdown plan here. Oh, they might still cast Stone Coil. Nope, they don't. Yeah, now they just need to pass. Which is very good for us. I think this was best possible for us. These land draws are not best possible, though. Okay, well, we'll play Aether Hub. And swing both at Nyssa. Um, I think we're just going to Gore Clan pump, but I could Abrupt Decay Rishkar instead. What's better? Because next turn they can just play a Stone Coil. Hmm. That's abrupt decay. Okay. Kill Vanessa. Alright. See what they do. They can just risk car now. Rishkar and a 3-3 Stone Coil seems like a pretty good turn from them. We really need to, like, <clears throat> stop drawing lands.
Oh, yeah, I guess I can Rishkar and then put the counter on the plant on the stone coil. That's pretty good. All right. <clears throat> Are they attacking for one? Nope. All right. Let's see what we draw. Thank God. Ooh. Damn. All right, we'll attack. Boop. Get some energy. See how they want to block. They just go for the super block. Okay, sure. We will do this. And do I want a harness or fatal push? Fatal push is probably safest, even though I could draw two cards next turn, but I'm starting to lose a lot of life anyway, so we will just snap off the fatal push on the stone coil. And hit him for a bunch of damage. It once upon a time. <clears throat> Take walking ballista, sure. And untap too. They must have forgot about sorcerer spyglass. Sure. I mean I'm gonna snap kill that. One, two. Maybe I should have done it in my upkeep, but honestly my life is getting too sketchy anyway. Alright, that's a good draw. They're down to four. And we drew the veil. Jeez, they felt a lot more mono green in that game. They didn't have a single black spell. Surely they play him though. Like, I think we keep on this plan. Because Veil is just too good. Ass Trophy might be necessary. <clears throat> Kills Planeswalkers and shit. We'll cut a glint for an assassin's trophy on the draw. Could see an argument for cutting another glint, but... Nah. Try it like this. Could also just cut... Ah, too late. I was going to cut a blossoming defense or a veil, but too late now. Keeping this hand... Too basic forest is a little annoying. Oh. I think I'm just going to fire off the Thoughtseize because um, of how we need to curve out here. Yeah, there's a Ballista, a Hanger Backwalker, and a Fatal Push. Interesting. We're just taking the hanger back walker. Take hanger back past the turn. Ooh. Alright, well, let's attune for now. Get our swamp. Gonna need to sorcerer spyglass <clears throat> on ballista again for sure. 
The way their hand is, though, it's looking pretty good for us. We've got the Spyglass on Ballista. And then we'll have Glint Blossom. It's going to be close, though. Hoping they just have to run up Ballista here. Ooh, Nissa. That's a very good draw from our opponent. Yikes. And we can't really afford to play this any differently unless we draw removal here. We draw Thoughtseize. Ooh. Alright, I am going to Thoughtseize them and Spyglass Nissa then. I don't love it, but we're under a lot of pressure. Nissa with Hardened Scales is just a bit, a bit too nasty. So, Voice of Zendikar. Nissa, Voice of Zendikar. Alright. And we need to dodge Walking Ballista. We have dealt with one. What do they draw now? Constrictor. Okay. Let's just snap off this glint sleeve. Question is, do I veil or blossom? And I I think I'm just gonna veil. Use it while I can. I don't know if they're playing abrupt decays. It would be nice to keep veil to abrupt to save spyglass from abrupt decay, but I do know they don't have it currently. And let's just draw the card while we can. Alright. Yikes, what did they draw? Is it just a serpent? Stone coil? Whew. Huge fucking hanger back walker. Alright. Guess I'm blocking. Use the blossom. Alright. Um, yikes. Another glint sleeve. Guess we're taking that. Guess we're casting that. And no attacks. Can they, like draw land or something for one turn. They've drawn very well. Okay, they bricked. It's possible. Yes. And we will just once upon a time Ooh. Is Long Tusk Cub even that good here, though? Alright, we'll get Mana Confluence and pass. Can we deal with 411 Flyers? Like, am I meant to kill this now? I don't think so. Ugh, it's gonna be 6 next turn? Okay, this is... It's getting a little scary, not gonna lie. Don't fucking hit Ballista, do not do it. Don't do it. They have to take Swamp? Wow. Okay. That's good news for us. If I kill this hangar back now, they'll go up, they'll get eight 1-1s. One <laughs> Then we get to attack with our Glint Sleeve. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we draw an untapped land, then we can Samut and Rampager. Hmm. 
Huh. 14, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna fucking do it. Eight fucking one ones. Yep. Oh god. Okay. Opponent gets a million one ones. We draw a throw. We will cast Samut. Attack, attack, attack. All right, let's hit the gut. They just block like that, interesting. So that's four, seven, 14, 13, 17. We can't kill him. Am I meant to just activate Samut now? Interesting. I don't think I am. But I could. They've got a lot of live draws. Um, they'll be at 14... I think the main issue is, is if they kill this Samut, then they're totally fine. So if I do this, they'll be down to one, and hanger back will be a one, two, three, a four, four. All right, we'll put them down to one, I guess. Boop. So close. See what they drew. I'm spooked. Oh my god, I'm so spooked. Three, four, okay, Stone Coil Serpent. Yep. Yeah. Fucking 8 8. It blocks Samu. That's annoying. And I don't think they can really afford to attack here. We need to draw Gorklan. Or our Planeswalker Samut. Or any removal spell. Nope, not any removal spell, because I don't think I sided in Fatal Pushes. Maybe I did. We'll see. Maybe I do have the Fatal Pushes. Okay, we will obviously draw. Oh my god, are we seriously gonna lose? Because of protection from fucking multicolored? We are. Oh my god. No! <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Fucking wow, this game was so close. They top decked it. And we just couldn't draw anything. We got them down to one. I guess I could have not used the Gore Clan last turn. Do they even go for it, though? It's a little sketchy to go for it. God, why does this fucking have trample? Oh, my God. It... <laughs> this is just... This is brutal, dude. This is fucking brutal. They going for it? 
They have to swing with enough flyers. Um. Okay. Well, I think they just threw this game. I'm obviously going to do no blocks. Go down to four. Go down to three. Two. One. Yeah. Wow, they, they might have just thrown this game. But we still need to draw. Something. Anything. <sighs> Dude. This is so fucking brutal. What a joke. What a joke. I guess Harness Lightning wouldn't have done it. Damn. Not gonna lie, I'm a little, little bit triggered. I'm a little triggered. All right. So I'm with the boys, I guess. Damn. They had to draw. <laughs> Fucking Stone Coil that turn. Wow, what a that was a good match. Oh well. Sucks though. Uh, I'm I'm pretty salty. But it was a good match. <laughs> I set the GG to spook him a bit, but yeah, it's it's just over. Maybe if the stamp thing didn't have trample. Alright. Didn't just concede, because if they played a black spell, we could have got there. But, yeah. Anyway. Well, untap. Go to blocks. And die. Horribly. Do I have fatal pushes in my deck? That's what I'm trying to see. I do. Ugh. Of course, the next card was Once Upon a Time that would have found us Gore Clan, but. Alright, whatever. Shaking that one off. Shaking that one off. We fought so hard for it. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't matter. I could have maybe played that a little bit differently, but oh well. Second. All right. Yes, please. Snap cube. Sand is amazing. Cast once. We will grab. Yeah, I guess Glen Sleeve at this end. Get down Lanoir. Whoops. Get down Lanoir. Next turn we get to Glint Sleeve, have the mana open, have the card draw energy, and have Blossoming Defense open. That's pretty sick. Basic Island. Okay. Thoughtseize. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Glint Hold Up Blossom for now. If it wasn't obvious, we had Blossom. Okay, opponent ops. Could be Blue-Red Phoenix or something. Hinterland Harbor. Hinterland Harbor thing in the ice. Okay. Alright. Uh, I still want to draw the cards. I'm greedy. I want to hit lands. Okay, cool. We hit lens. Question is, are we thought seizing? I think yes. 
Opt, opt, fatal push. Yeah, fatal push away, bro. We're just going to get down to Servant here. And smash. And then next turn, we'll kill this thing in the ice. Menace, my guy. One sec. Just moving that chat window over. draw a card okay um, I guess I'll cast that first and then let's crash in now they fatal push Uh, we'll blossom. And do I want to just try to blossom this thing in the ice? I think I do. Okay, they just say no blocks. I'm just going to pass. All right, now I'll harness. Deal four. All the ups. All right, hopefully they don't find a treasure cruise or something, but even that's going to be... Hard to get them out of this. They'll need another thing in the ice. Oh, just main phase supreme will. Do they not have a land drop? Four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, if they go supreme will land, they can treasure cruise and then maybe try to set up for next turn. I guess that's fair. Or just have nothing. And I guess that's fair. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't see a reason to walk into a board wipe, so I'm not going to play this Hydra. Draw a card. Yes, please. Alright. I mean, I'm attacking with everything. Growth Spiral? Sure. What are they playing? Okay. Thanks for showing me that Growth Spiral's in your deck, though. What does that mean? What the fuck are they ramping into? Could that be a Nexus deck? I guess it's possible that that's a Nexus deck. Well, we want our Veils. We want Assassin's Trophy, I guess. Maybe a Rough Decays. Don't think I want... Yeah, I'm not too sure what I want yet. Got one Blossom. We can cut a couple of the servants. Let's cut a pummeler. Don't know about the harness lightnings yet. Let's just try like two abrupt decays instead so we don't have to worry about them countering it. 
And then, do I want to cut a Gore Clan for something? Maybe like the Samut? Sure. Let's try it like this. Guess I'll keep. Not the best on the draw. One second. Okay. Lanawar is a pretty stellar draw, but I'm just going to pass. Okay. Well, that looks like a growth spiral. Play the Lano. It's a fatal push. Um, don't really want to veil that. I guess I thought about it long enough. That maybe I should. Hmm, meh. We've got Pummeler. We will attune. Get a mountain. Play an Aether Hub. Pass. Untapped. Okay. Oh, they're playing a spell. Is it just uh, Kalidus or something? Tamiya. It's a pretty good card. What did they name? One, two, three. Uh, they got the wilderness reclamation. Okay. That's spooky. Guess we're just going for lethal. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Hold. Hold, hold. There's wilderness. They're not going to have enough to nexus. So, I mean, I'm just going for lethal. What do they name? What did they name though? They don't take haze? What the fuck? They are very confident that they have this pummeler covered. Which is not good news for us. Oh, well, that's good news for us. Alright. Well, I am going to try to kill you. Clan Rampager. <laughs> uh fucking hate Haze of Pollen. I mean, we we literally can't play around it. This is just our hand. Hopefully they're on a removal hand. Please play removal, not haze. Please play removal, not haze. Fuck. Um Yeah, that's just game. We don't need to continue from there. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so it is a Reclamation deck. It is a Nexus deck. That means we want 
What? Spy glasses. Is this enough answers to fucking thing in the ice? Not really, but I guess I'll try it. I think this looks fine. We're at two blossoming, three veils. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try it like this. Yes, and we'll keep. Let's just get down ladder off. Untapped. Okay. Grab our... Actually, our Swamp might be the correct draw here. Because that lets us Thoughtseize plus Glint Sleeve next turn. Alright. We'll go for Swamp. Go ahead. Just an opt. Okay. And they pass. Ooh. Another thought sees is nice. Sees you. Nexus, dig, supreme will. Oh, wow. They've just got fucking nothing, eh? Guess I just take supreme will? And, yeah, that does change what I do. I'm just going to cast a Glinty, cast an Elf, and Smash. Wow, oh, they were really counting on that Supreme Will. Alright. Draw a card. Platoon's a fine draw. Let's us get our mountain. Play our mountain. And what's better here? Casting Gore Clan or swing with everything for th three, five, six, putting them down to ten. And then we have lethal next turn. So I guess we wait a turn to Thoughtseize. Can also use this Haship Oasis here. Hmm. Now nah, let's just get in this turn. We'll thought seize next turn. We also might need to cast this Score Clan if they play a board wipe or something to that effect. Thing in the ice. Okay. Yes. Hello. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we get to thought seize them. They've got nothing. We'll take the dig through time. We cast Samut. Green. Double strike. Attack, attack. Red. Boop. Kill you. Okay. Well, that went well. Menace. Menace. Alright, let's get the 4 1. Uh, I'm still not off the high of that match against Snake. I wanted that win. 
I might even rewatch the vid and think about what I could have done differently to not get them in this situation where they could just top deck Stone Coil. I was thinking about them top decking Ballista, but Stone Coil just completely bricked us. Maybe I wasn't meant to kill that hanger back. Not that I would have been able to kill Stone Coil anyways. Fuck, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, I you know what? I wasn't meant to kill that hanger back. Shit, that's right. I could have attacked with Samut and then killed it and then pumped. Yep. Alright, I punted. It feels feels liberating to say that though. Feels good to know that it that I fucked up. <laughs> Alright. The sand is fucking abysmal, oh my god. Guess I'll keep. I don't know, I don't really want to go down to five cards. It's got lands and spells, at least. Alright. Go. Let's see what deck they're on. Temple Garden. Arcur. Ramp, please. Uh, I mean, I'll take a card I can cast, sure. Huh. Aristocrat, Catacomb Sifter. Probably best just to disrupt their curve. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Take Aristocrat, I guess. Uh, player land for turn. Go. Eighteen lands left in the deck. Lino Wolf, Servant, all fine draws, but we. Need something for us to advance our game plan here. Lent, please. Pretty please. Just do it, deck. Just fucking do it. Oh, God. The suspense opponent, please. Please. Opponents, please. I have to know. If we're getting to play magic or not. Oh, thank God. Okay. Run out the pummels. What's our best draw now? A tune with Aether? Probably a tune with Aether. If we draw a tune, we can... Eh, we can't quite kill him. Could hit him for 14. I guess maybe land is just our best draw. Alright, that's a... That's fine. I'll take that. Gotta get down Hydra and just clench for a turn. All right, opponent. Can you kill our pummeler? If not, it is going to kill you. Could these black decks even have to deal with pummeler? I guess something that makes me sack a creature or some shit. Could definitely have cards and things and stuff. <clears throat> we draw. 
three. Okay. Oh. Duck. I see him. They have to cast the Coco. And then I can Gorklan Blossoming Defense. Nope, they go to blocks. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Red. Green. I mean, I guess we just go for the 20. Hopefully they can't gain too much life. Like this Hydra is unblocked as well. Okay, the Coco. Finding them. Zula. Scepter, but that's not going to be enough. Only gains them two. Bonnie, you're, you're dead. Just wasting time. Oh my god, what are they doing? <laughs> okay, die. Thank you. Alright. Craft Digger's Cage. Yes, please. Do I want Fatal Pushes? Maybe. Do I want Sorcerer's Spy Glasses? Probably? I don't really know. Probably want Samut. Probably want Abrupt Decays. And... I don't know. I guess that's it. What could we cut? Long Tusk Cubs. Servants. Um, on the draw, Thought Seasons seem a little bit too painful. Cut a Blossoming, cut an Elf. Sure, let's try it like that. I mean, against a normal deck, this would be pretty good. But against what our opponent's doing, I really don't think we can keep this. Like, it's got four lands, it's got the glint sleeve, but I think I'd rather have either a fatal push or like. I've got graft diggers in my deck. But the sand is objectively pretty solid. Alright, a little slow on the draw. We will mulligan this as well. Oh, they also mulled to six. Okay. Maybe that meta I should have kept. I don't know. The hand was like objectively fine, but just a little slow against what they're doing. So we'll mull this too. And we end up keeping basically the same hand. So we have to bottom two cards. We will bottom Overgrown Tomb. Stomping Grounds, done. Alright. Well, I'm happy with our 7-card hand as a 5-card hand. <laughs> Pithing Needle. Did I name Pummeler? Yeah. Respect. 
we will get a forest. Really hope we get to kill them with Samut this game. Ooh, Wayfinder, it's a good one. Okay, they do have Knight of Autumn in their deck. That's good to know about. I mean, it wouldn't have been that much of a surprise. It's just nice to confirm. I mean, I'll take that. Play Glint. See what they got. And I assume they attack. Or not. We draw. Ooh, fatal push. Hmm. I would really like to get to draw that extra card, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like, I could go for the Fatal Push, but that does not seem super attractive. Alright, let's just run out a Glinty and keep our option open to push. Maybe I should sideboard a scavenging ooze. I think we're just going to kill the Sulapore Cutthroat. Yeah. I get to scry, we lose one, they gain one. But <clears throat> I want to use my mana up. Alright, we draw. And nothing. Alright, we will once upon a time. Finds us another Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Sure. And fucking. Alright, I guess we're just attacking with everything. Assume they double block. Oh, and where did they scry? I guess that's relevant. on top. Hmm. Well, they're not going to get scry value. So, ha. Got a shock siphoner. Yeah, this isn't going great for us. You could say. Graft Digger's Kitch. Nope. Toon's not the worst draw in the world. Um, we'll 
We'll just Blooming Marsh. And I could attack with one just to see what they got, but I don't think that's even worth it. So let's just... Let's just pass the turn. Okay, it's just a collected company. Just a collected company. Oh, wow. Only a cartel aristocrat. This is good news for us. There's a Zulaport. And a Knight of Autumn. Okay, well now would be a great turn to fucking find our Graft Digger's Cage. Although we are kind of just getting beat down too. Yeah, I, I would have just snap blocked. Oh, they're going for it. Oh, maybe not. Okay, they pass. Once upon a time. None of this helps us. We will just take Gorklan. On tap. Need to draw a Samut. That's not Samut. That doesn't even make energy. Ugh, okay. I mean, I could also attack with both here. Play Lanawar. Play Gorklan. If they block, I can Gorklan. Wouldn't kill a Catacomb Sifter if they double block, though. Okay. I mean, I do have double Gorklan. Alright, let's just... Let's swing with both. Fuck it. Not like I'm really wanting to... Block with Glint anyways. See what they do. I assume just Sifter Knight will block. Could see this cartel aristocrat getting in. Okay. Okay. range like that. We will Gorkland. Six five. And I guess just blossoming defense here? Or here. One, two, three. Three, that's three. I could Gorkland here, but then they sacrifice another creature. Gains pro black. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to be drawing cards, so let's blossoming defense. And get in. Million triggers. We're dead as soon as they scry to top, I assume. Scries to bottom, scries to bottom. Okay. This game is pretty fucking close. And they find... Even like a Coco we could deal with, but... Oh, four mana. Yeah. <laughs> God. I shouldn't have said Coco. I lied. We can't deal with it. Knight and... Sifter. <laughs> Spooky. 
Still a good turn to draw Graph Digger's Cage. We have the tech. Although, we're gonna just die to this fucking cartel aristocrat. Draw. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I mean, I guess we have to just play everything. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, go ahead. Game is fucking close. Oh, did they get there? Okay, it's just a catacomb sifter. Although they're gonna get to scry so much that we basically need to just top deck Graft Digger's Cage or we're dead. <clears throat> so I can sack pre combat to go pro green, then I block, then they can sack and go pro black. They just don't go for it. Okay, so we're going to get an extra draw, and this is basically it. We need Graph Digger's Cage. I don't think we put it on the bottom with Once Upon a Time, so got to be getting close to it. That's a good draw. Oh, fuck, we actually got there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what do we... What do we do now? We're at four life. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Next four. So I can have Sheep Oasis. One. They just have a clean double block with the Sifter and the Knight, though. So I think I need to just play... I don't want them to know that I have the cage coming, though. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it. This cartel aristocrat is just going to kill us. Alright, well. Rub decay. See what you do. Hopefully they scry to top, because then we get some value. Nope, they scry to bottom. Alright, we have to play it. Oh God. This is too spooky. Maybe I was meant to attack. I don't know. Wayfinder, sure. At this point, they need to start attacking us. I mean, if they don't, that's just a punt, right? No. They're not going to sack go pro green, sack go pro block. I guess it is pretty hard to do. Huh? I don't know. This is a very interesting game. They're thinking about it. Okay, they have to sack now. Yep. That's some scry. I think they should really be just be going all in here. Uh, 
Like, are they going to let us block? They do. So they'll have to sack another creature. What did they sack? Oh. Uh, Wayfinder. Sure. Okay. We would like to draw a black creature or a Samut. That's a black creature. I guess we go Haship on Bristling Hydra, since we actively want them to chump, which is weird. But I assume they just take seven. Oh, this game is close. Wow, are they going to go for the double block? Triple block? No, okay. Oh, they're just worried about... I don't really know. I guess Become a Men's Battle Rage could be in my deck. So fair enough, but I'm very happy to get them to be on so few creatures. We get to play Glintsleeve. Oh no, they scryed the top. Oh no. Did they find the other knight? They've already played <laughs> fucking three, so... That doesn't seem super likely. It's a Zulapore Cutthroat. Oh my god. Are we just dead? Yeah, they get the sack. Pro green, sack pro black. Damn. That was so close. Whew. All right. Is Cartel Aristocrat a good card? Of course. Of course, the Spyglass is right on top. Do we want Thought Seizes? I guess we do. Cut our Elves. And I don't really know what else. Maybe the Blossomings aren't super high impact. We've got Assassin's Trophy as an option. Long Tusk. Long Tusk isn't super amazing. Let's just go with the Servant then. Oh, we could bring in two cards. Sure, maybe just both servants. Alright, run it like that. Hope to pummel them. This hand, though. I'm gonna keep because we can hit Llanowar Elf or any land and be fine. Alright, try it. Come on, once upon a time. And even if we miss, we have another turn to hit the land. So we need any land in our top six cards, and we're playing 20 now. Eh, I don't know. Like, this could be a mall, but I'm trying it. Thank God. Okay, well, taking Mana Confluence. And we need to curve out, so I'm just going to Thought Seize them now. Could wait. Then I'm doing nothing. Like, I'm. This is gonna be super fucking painful. If I thought sees them now, next turn I have to shock. So I'm down to 17 now, next turn 15, 14. Jesus. Let's save the life. Hope for a land that isn't Mana Confluence. Tapped, okay. We find. We find this uh, stop on our upkeep is pretty annoying.
Come on, opponent. Just F6. Yikes. Um. Yeah, I'll just get down servant. We would really like to draw a land or an attune. They run out of cartel aristocrat. I'm snap fatal pushing. Yep. Snap fatal pushing. So draw land. Oh, we did draw land. Nope, we still need to fatal push. Push. May as well play the land, but we need to tap the servant for black. And go. Alright, well this is going pretty well for us. They have the sifter again. Ooh, needle. What do they name? Is it just pummeler again? Or do they name the servant? They're also, pro after seeing graft diggers, they're probably going to be very careful about their Knight of Autumns. They're thinking about it. Bristling Hydra. Interesting. And an aristocrat. Okay. Well, we're going to draw a card. We want removal. Yes. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's attack. Who are they considering blocking? I'm hoping this Samu can just win us the game. Alright. They take it. We are going to once upon a time. Finding us a land. Thank God. Playing our land, thought seizing them. There's the Coco. We are going to snap take the Collected Company. And ship it. So their hand is Godless Shrine, Aristocrat, Wayfinder. I assume they shock and run out Wayfinder and Aristocrat. <clears throat> Our life is getting a little sketchy. But hopefully the Samut can take the W for us. Yep. Oh, I guess playing Wayfinder first makes a lot more sense. Cool. They mill a collected company. That's nice. They should have played Godless Shrine, so that we'd... No, it doesn't matter. We know what land they took. Don't mind me. All right. And we are, ooh, oh, my. Well, I do not see much point in attacking here. So we're going to pass. Opponent finds. Sifter. Okay, they should be dead. 
<clears throat> Samut. Woof. Oh, God, I love Samut. Alright, on top. Come on. Come on. You're dead. Come on. <laughs> one, two, one, two. <laughs> Alright. I guess we're doing that. Wow, even this Glint Siphoner is lethal if they don't block. So, okay. I'll go to attacks. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those blocks make sense. I'll allow them. I'll allow them. Uh, Gorklan Rampage. And, um, let's see. Gorklan Rampage. And just thinking, um, let's go with the Gorkland Rampager. Take a million. <laughs> Bonnet, you're dead. You're dead. I do think I should get a scavenging ooze into my board, though. As good as, um, Graft Digger's is, Scoos might be a bit better, because I have the Once Upon a Times. Anyways, we got there. Got another 4-1. Very nice. Not our 5-0 yet, but I'll take it. Just gonna... It's at the scavenging ooze now. Question is, what do we cut? I'm not convinced Graph Diggers is where we want to be. Alright, let's just try cutting the Graph Diggers cage, even though it would have been amazing in that matchup. Um, Scavenging is being able to get hit off of once upon a time feels a little more consistent than the cage so Yeah, I think I like that The deck list felt very nice during this league So I think I'm probably gonna run just the exact same thing Tomorrow I could see me changing up some things in the mana base like maybe I'll go back down to 19 lands But I think I like this list currently we will see though and yep yeah, it's John Pumler got it picked up another 4-1 and hopefully tomorrow we can break getting the 5-0 really close match against snake today but I think I can I could have played it better and won if I had just waited on the assassin's trophy so you know can't complain too much Man, mistakes Mistakes happen. This is why I'm getting the rust off before the PTQ. So I'm very excited for the PTQ and glad to be getting some mistakes, hopefully, out of the way. Alright. Pummel her out. We will be back to pummel tomorrow, hopefully.